The Gables community is probably the most misunderstood community in all of Huntington Beach, and that's primarily because it sits on leased land. Often you'll have buyers looking at the community because of the price point going, this seems too good to be true. Why are the prices so low? Well, it's largely due to the fact that the property does sit on leased land. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the gables in a little bit more detail. We're gonna talk about the different floor plans. We're gonna talk about the amenities, as well as the pros and cons of living in the gables Huntington Beach. The gables is a guard gated community located in Northwest Huntington Beach near the Huntington Harbor, located off of Edinger Avenue. In fact, if you didn't know the gables was there, you wouldn't know it was there because of how you you have to get to the community. It's kind of a hidden gem, if you will. It's located in a really serene area, just a short distance to Bolsa Chica State Beach, Mother's Beach, as well as the Huntington Harbor, which I mentioned a moment ago. The Gables was built in 1980 and consists of 80 individual units, which are usually located in four units to a building with the garages facing outwards towards the streets. The floor plans in the Gables consist of both two and three bedrooms with square footage ranging on the two bedroom, one bath models from somewhere around 966 square feet to around 1,032 square feet. While the largest model in the community consists of three bedrooms, two baths with just over 1,200 square feet of living space. Now there's only 10 of the three bedroom, two bath models. Now the nice thing about the three bedroom model as well is it also has a two car garage, whereas all the other units in the community just have a one car garage. Now one thing to note about the Gables if you're looking for a single level unit is all the three bedroom, two bath models, the 10 that I mentioned, all those are single level units units, so no stairs in those units. Now outside of those, you have 70 other units in the community. Only the units that are upstairs are single level. So if you're looking for something with no stairs, your only options are those three bedroom, two bath models. At the same time, one of the nice things about the Gables is that all of the units offer some sort of outdoor living space. It's typically around the front door. If you're one of the units where you're upstairs, you're gonna climb the stairs and you're gonna have a balcony, if you will. Whereas if you're one of the other condo style units, as you enter the front door, it's typically a fenced off area where you're gonna have some sort of outdoor living space. Whereas the three bedroom models that I mentioned actually have a larger outdoor patio that's located off the kitchen. Now, as you hear me talk about the three bedroom, two bath models, these units are rare and typically sell pretty quickly because there's only a few of them and a lot of people are looking for that signal level unit. These units tend to sell quickly. Now, one of the nice things about the Gables is that also has some amenities. It has a clubhouse, a pool, as well as a spa has a huge grassy area. If you have kids, it's a great place to let the kids run around or let the dogs run around. It's just a great place to be outside, which is honestly one of the best perks, one of the pros, if you will, of the Gables is the amenities, right? For one, that it's gated, that's nice. It keeps it safe and secure. That you have a swimming pool, you have a spa. There's not a lot of units in there. Kind of get to know your neighbors, which is really, really nice. It's in a nice location in Huntington Beach. So all of those things are pros, but there's one thing we're forgetting here, and that's that's the elephant in the room with regards to lease land. So the Gables is one of those communities that often comes up in conversation because when you look at it online, you say, why are these units so much less than comparable units in Huntington Beach? Well, it's because they sit on lease land. Now, if you're watching this going, what is lease land? It's you don't own the land underneath the unit. There's fee simple land and there's lease land. Fee simple means that you own the land underneath your unit. There's no additional payment that you're paying for that land. Whereas lease land, you're typically paying a homeowner's association fee as well as a fee to lease that land. And many times you're also paying some sort of property taxes on top of that. And because you're paying those additional fees, that means there's more or less a cap on how much that value can appreciate. Now, there's no cap on how much it can appreciate, but it's not going to appreciate like a condo that's not on lease land, if you will. And that's typically why you're going to see them for less money. Now, one of the main things that people have a question about when it comes to the gables and the land lease is what happens at the end of the lease? Well, at the time I'm making this video, the lease expires in 2059, which is essentially 26 years from today. Here's the thing when getting financing to be able to buy a property on lease land is lenders want the term of the loan plus five years. So if you're getting a 30 year fixed loan, for example, to buy a property, they want 35 years remaining on that lease in order to give you a 30 year fixed loan. And because the Gables only has 26 years remaining on the lease, 
it makes it very difficult to find a lender that will do a 30-year loan. In fact, most lenders that are financing in the Gables at the moment will only do a 20-year loan because you got 20 years plus the five years remaining, which means the longest term you're likely going to be able to get is 25 years. Well, that makes the cost of your mortgage more expensive. In addition to having land lease fees, in addition to having homeowners association fees, in addition to having some property taxes on top of that. And one thing to note with lease land is that every single year, your lease amount is probably going to go up because my understanding is that it adjusts with CPI. So if inflation's going up, that means your land lease is likely going up. Now, I've been selling real estate in Huntington Beach for nearly 20 years. I remember back in the day when the Gables yearly lease was somewhere around $8,000. At the moment I'm filming this video, the yearly lease is $10,800. So it's definitely gone up in the time that I've been paying attention. And one thing to note here with the lease in the Gables is that it's paid quarterly. It's not paid monthly. So if you broke this down, that's $2,700 a month on top of your monthly HOA dues. In fact, if you broke it down monthly, you'd be paying $900 for the land lease in addition to $420 for your HOA. So you're sitting at somewhere around $1,320 even if you paid cash for the property. So some people are going to hear that and run away and say, absolutely not. It's not for me. Whereas on the other hand, I've had people contact me and say, Jeb, I'm 90 years old. I don't have anybody to leave this to. I don't really care what happens you know, after I die, therefore I'm going to buy it. I want to live in a nice community. I want to live close to the beach and therefore they end up buying a unit. So depending on where you are in your life and what you're trying to accomplish, it may or may not be right for you. But one of the questions that comes up is what happens at the end of the lease? Now understand, I haven't read the lease documents in any detail, but my understanding is at the end of the lease with this particular community, the leaseholder can actually just take your unit. Now that may May or may not be correct. So if you're considering buying in the Gables, make sure you're doing your homework, reading the documents, and you understand exactly what happens. But a lot of people believe, hey, you know, I bought this property for say 500,000. So when the lease expires, they're going to pay me what I paid for it so that I can leave. I don't know that to be true. In fact, I don't think that is true. So if you're considering buying in the Gables, just make sure you understand both sides. There's a lot of pros of the community, but the land lease is definitely one of the cons. And with that said, one of my understandings too is that you're not able to write off the land lease on your taxes like you are with property taxes or that sort of thing. So, you know, that's definitely an accounting question, something you want to run by an accountant if you're planning on buying in the Gables. But if you have additional questions about the Gables, you want to see a property in the Gables, they've sold a lot in there over the years. I know it very, very well. I would love the opportunity to help you. My contact information is in the description below. But if you're looking to buy in Huntington Beach and you have additional questions about Huntington, do me a favor and check out this video here.